We are joined now by defensive back Alonzo Adai. Questions for Mr. Adai. Greg Hunter. <clears throat> so Alonzo, obviously you had the choice of, of coming back. A lot of guys in your shoes didn't. So why did you and all of a sudden do you feel like the old guy when you look around? Definitely feel, you know, like a like an older guy in the locker room, but I feel like it's great um, for me to be able to, you know, get back to the program. Uh, you know, West Virginia has done so much for me. So being able to pour, you know, my knowledge and experience into the younger guys and, you know, get them ready for years to come. Uh, personally, you know, this decision was just based off the fact that, um, you know, I, I barely got that season last year, obviously with me coming here and having to sit out my first season because of transfer rules. Uh, having the extra year to put more on film and, you know, take my game to another level was a big part of my decision coming back. Ryan Fred. Hey, Alonzo. Obviously some uh, moving and shaking on the defensive staff over the offseason. Um, you know, what have those the, – the two new guys kind of brought to the staff? How has the, uh, the chemistry gone and, and what's different, if anything, so far? Uh, Coach Jackson and Coach Brown are both two great coaches. You know, I'm excited to have them as part of the staff. And, you know, they bring knowledge of uh, more to the game, you know, of places that they've been. Um, you know, I wouldn't say too much has changed. I would just say, you know, we're looking to build off uh, last year, you know, just keep the energy going, uh, keep everybody excited, and continue to build on what we had. Next question from Keenan Cummings. Hey, Alonzo, Neil and uh, some of the other coaches have talked about versatility, how they want you guys to move around in the secondary. was curious, you know, how is it different for you? Are you playing different spots this spring, learning different spots, and what all has gone into that? Uh, yeah, in the back end this year, you know, we're just trying to um, – have a great knowledge of our defense um, from all three safety spots. So I feel like, you know, it's helping all of us um, being able to know where our help is on certain plays or, you know, just understanding the total defense, not just, you know, my position or, you know, for Sean, Sean's position or Scotty or whoever might be back there, KJ, you know, different guys like that. So just being able to play different spots is helping us learn the defense as a whole more and allowing us to play faster. Cody Nesper. Hey, Alonzo. Uh, I wanted to ask you about Scotty because I'm sure last year was weird for him when he, you know, he never knew if or when he was going to be eligible. So what, I mean, what are, what should expectations for him be this year now that, you know, he knows he's going to be able to play? Through the ceiling, <laughs> through the ceiling with Scotty, you know, um, that's definitely like one of my brothers on the team. Um, he was in a similar position to me, you know, the previous year. So it was good to see him uh, just, you know, take every day. Like it says last, he uh, he put a lot into last season, even though he wasn't able to play with the practice squad and getting the offensive guys ready to go. Uh, this season, you know, I think he's going to have a great year. Uh, expectations should be, you know, through the roof for him. I don't see no limit to the things that he could do on the field. Kevin Kinder. Hey, Alonzo. What other positions have you worked at this spring? And if you aren't a free, what position do you think either suits you the best or would you like to try? <laughs> uh, honestly, you know, I'm just – I'm just looking to play wherever I can. Uh, you know, if the coach asks me to play cat safety, I'm going to play cat. If the coach asks me to play spear, I'm going to play spear. If he asks me to play corner, I'm going to play corner. Wherever the coaches need me to be, I'll be at um, of taking reps at cat and uh, spear this, this spring. So, you know, like I said, just trying to expand my knowledge of the game, being able to know, you know, what the other two safeties are doing alongside me is helping me, you know, when I go back to free or when I'm at free, you know, help me even more. Greg Hunter. So, Alonzo, do you take any um, corner snaps? I mean, you've played there in, in past years, not necessarily here, but uh, is that something you have to learn just in emergency purposes? Uh, I haven't been taking any corner snaps this spring, but, you know, I know, you know, what the corners are expected to do. So if the coach has asked me to do that, I'll, I'll do it most definitely. But I haven't been used there uh, this spring. In addition, did last year's success by you, did that catch you at all by surprise? Because you were obviously an unknown among, you know, the Mountaineers coming in, and all of a sudden you had this great year and people were, were raving. But for you, you personally, were you surprised? Uh, personally, you know, no. Um, I set high expectations for myself. I knew, you know, the previous year I put in a lot of work and, you know, expected for that work to pay off. So, you know, I had a high expectation for myself. And honestly, I didn't reach all the goals that, you know, I wanted to last season. So that was also a big part of me coming back and just trying to take my game to another level, especially with knowledge of the game, 
and just being able to be a vessel for my teammates, you know what I'm saying? Uh, be able to, you know, spread the knowledge that I have to the younger guys or help whoever, you know, needs help. Cody Nesper. So Letty just talked about um, that he meets with Coach Brown every week to talk about leadership and that he's, you know, actively trying to uh, be a better leader. As, as an older guy on defense, are you in a similar position? Yeah, similar. Me and me and Letty are in those in those meetings together. Um, but definitely, you know, as an older guy on the defense, I'm looking to set an example for everybody else on the field. You know, a lot of the younger guys, I remember being in that position where I'm coming in as a freshman, sophomore, whatever the case may be, and looking up to, you know, the older guys. I'm, you know, a six-year senior at this point, so I have no excuse. You know, I know what's expected. I know what we need to do. So I'm looking to, to show the guys what needs to be done day in and day out. John Antoni. Curious, Alonzo, um, you've had some guys that have moved on that were that could have possibly played this year. How are you going to be different in the secondary with the guys that you've got in those spots that are replacing them? And what do you have to do as one of the older guys to kind of be the glue to keep all that together? Uh, I would say communication is a big part of our defense. Um, you know, last year we, we obviously had some great pieces. This year we're going to have great pieces as well. Uh, I feel like it won't be – you know, much, much of a difference. I think our expectations are, are still higher. You know what I'm saying? We're still looking to build off what we did last year. Um, and for me personally, you know, I'm looking to just, like I said, be that glue, make sure that everybody knows what they need to be doing. So, you know, when we go out there for game days, everybody's on the same page and, and we can execute. Real quick, um, who, who are some of the guys that are standing out where Drayshawn played and, and, and also to where Tyke played? Uh, Jackie, Math Jackie Matthews and Scotty Young. Yeah. Back to Cody Nesper. I'm just wondering, how does Kerry Martin look uh, so far this spring? You know, obviously he he was he opted out of the fall. Kerry looks great. Uh, Kerry came back hungry, ready to play. Uh, knowledge of the game is still there. Uh, the repetitions are helping him, and excited to see what KJ will do this uh, this fall. He's gonna be a, he's gonna be a great player for us. Greg Hunter. So last one for me, Alonzo, but does it feel odd not having Jamile around? <laughs> Definitely. You know, it's a different feel. Uh, you know, miss family always, but you know, I'm I'm happy for him and you know his endeavors and, and what he felt like was best for him. Um, it definitely feels a little bit different, but you know the coaching staff is still like family to me. Every every coach on this staff, so um, not not too much of a difference. 